And now let's just shift focus to try and understand what the situation of the COVID-19 remains in India. Um, India has uh, seen at least 628 COVID-19 cases over the last 24 hours. The active case tally has now crossed the 4,000 mark. Meanwhile, Kerala remains one of the states with the highest number of COVID-19 cases. In the last 24 hours itself, the state has seen over 120 cases. One COVID-related death has also been reported from the state. Karnataka has reported a total of 73 active COVID-19 infections. Meanwhile, total of 63 JN.1 COVID variant cases have been reported in the country, out of which 34 cases are from Goa, 9 from Maharashtra, 9 from Karnataka, 6 from Kerala, 4 from Tamil Nadu and 2 from Telangana. As the new variant cases have been on a rise in Maharashtra as well. The Shinde government has instructed health officials to ensure the availability of ventilators, oxygen cylinders and other necessary equipment at all government hospitals. On the other hand, the centre is also trying its best to allay the rising concerns. Union Minister of State for Tourism, Shripad Nayak, has said that citizens and the tourism industry need not worry about the latest wave of COVID-19 as the country has fought the disease efficiently in the past. We must... Uh, reiterate this, that WHO has uh, not called co this JN.1 variant as a variant of uh, concern. It is a variant of interest and um, um, important during this festive season to be cautious. Today, India has logged 628 cases, taking the official tally to 4,054, according to the Union Health Ministry. Currently, we're standing right outside Ames Hospital, where preparations have been made for any outbreaks that can take place in the coming days, especially as Christmas and New Year's are just here. Christmas is today. However, New Year's will also be around the corner, and it is expected that more people, more gatherings will take place. However, speaking about this particular variant, JN.1, it is uh, considered to be a relatively mild variant and the recovery rate also stands at uh, a little more than 98%. So, <clears throat> there isn't much to worry if speaking about this particular variant. And in fact, most number of cases are coming in from Kerala at the moment. Deaths have also been reported from Kerala. Ra most deaths from Kerala, one from Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. Uh, we also hear that uh, from experts that uh, there isn't much to panic about this particular variant. This is a mutation of the Omicron variant. And if things go, uh, if even if things go south, India is prepared to handle the outbreak. Right. And uh, right now, my colleague Srishti joins us from Mumbai. Srishti, so the, uh, so the government has actually gone ahead um, and said uh, you need to be well prepared. The state needs to be well prepared for beds, for oxygen. It is the festive season. There are, of course, concerns as COVID cases spike. But uh, what are you seeing around in terms of numbers? Are there any changes in hospitalization? Well, definitely, if we talk about the numbers in the state of Maharashtra, is more than 50 cases were reported in the state of Maharashtra till Sunday. Now, in uh, Maharashtra itself, if we talk about the JN1 cases, uh, particularly, 10 cases have been reported, out of which 5 are from Thane, 2 are from Pune, 1 is from Pune Rural, 1 is from Akola, and 1 is from the other pocket, which is in the district. Now, what comes across is that this particular JN variant is little milder than the other variant. But hospitalization of this particular variant is not as, mu as much as high as it was for the earlier variants. However, the state of Maharashtra and chief minister of Maharashtra, Eknath Shinde, and uh, Tanaji Samant, who is a health minister, they have made it very clear that the state is all prepared. They have also directed the authorities to do uh, health audits as well as the fire audits in the hospitals. Preparations regarding the oxygen cylinders, ventilators should be done properly in a way that if it is required, then state and the officials and the doctors should be ready. Earlier, uh, Chief Minister also said that the task force should be appointed in this regards and they will look after the necessary measures ne which needs to be taken regarding the JN1 variant. However, now there is no such a rise in hospita hospitalization of the patients. But yes, festive season is ahead. Today is Christmas. Uh, ahead few days, uh, 
New Year, New Year's are there. People will be out on the streets. But yes, Maharashtra Chief Minister earlier also mentioned that people should use masks in the crowded places. But yes, what comes across is that more than 50 cases of COVID-19 and 10 cases of JN1 variant are being reported from the state of Maharashtra. Right. Thank you very much, Srishti, for all of those details.